What's up, YouTube? What's up, world? What's up, Dixie Honky? Shout out to Dixie Honky and everybody that's supporting him. Yeah, man. This video is in response to Mimi Burko Burkoala. I know I said that wrong, but she asked me. I had posted my video to support Dixie Hon Hon Honky. I mean, Dixie White. <laughs> and she asked me on my video to uh, explain what made me change my thinking. And I relished the chance to do that. I really feel like my story is going to be familiar to pretty much everybody if you got love in your heart. Because really our story starts when we were younger, when we were kids. I remember me growing up in church and hearing the message of love and brotherly love and peace, I was like, yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool with that. I'm with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you go out in this world and you're like, yeah, that don't really add up with what I'm seeing. And I never could, even to this day, I never can get past what, the, what they teach in church, what's in the Bible and what's going on in the world. I never could get past that. Yeah. And when I got in, yeah, I don't know. Teenage to 20 years, I don't know. I hated white people. I blame white people for all this shit. I blame white people for everything. <clears throat> and it didn't help, I took an African American study course in college. <laughs> That didn't help nothing. I even I even was planning a revolution. <laughs> yep, I was gonna start a revolution to change the government, change the system. But uh, I started smoking weed. Yeah, thank God for weed. Thank God I started smoking weed. I would have, or I would have been in the jail system or dead, one or the other. Yeah. But yeah, I started smoking weed. Kind of eased my mind, relaxed me a little bit. But that thought still bothered me. How is our source of morals different than what's going on out here in the world? And I started doing a little studying and researching, more studying and researching. I really got into books. But I didn't really get real deep until after my marriage ended. I'm separated by the way. And this marriage thing really puzzled me. Yeah. So I really started digging more deeper into history. I don't know, psychology, I just started reading everything. But mainly history and religion. And I came to see that the people who divide us do not want the people to get together. They do not want white and black together. They want men hating women. They want the old hating the young. And Lord knows they don't want religious people to get together. It's over what, 500 denominations? What kind of shit is that? Stupid. It's one Christianity, but we got 500 different divisions in it. Anyway. Yeah, you can pretty much say that's my reason for me changing my thinking is knowledge, true knowledge, and I don't know, basically just knowing that they don't want the people to be together. So yeah, it's time to change that y'all. Let's support everybody who's speaking that, that real truth. That true love, true knowledge, true peace, no division, no corrupt system. 